Are you going to take pictures or no? Oh, yeah. Are you ready to begin? <laughs> yeah. That's a little bit. That's life, me. I figured that one out. Yeah. A couple of days ago. <laughs> so, we call this one our cathedral room. Our first room to be explored with Carl Morton. Yeah, this is not a little hole. Long already? <laughs> It'd be kind of interesting to see one of these get over 700 feet long and just drop. Wow. So that'd be kind of sad too. Are there any big questions about this room? We do have some signatures in this room. We have one right there. We have actually two. We can only we can only make out two. One is the founder of Reading, California, and the other is the founder of Silverthorn, which is now a marina. <coughs> oh. <laughs> oh, like the, oh, there's a uh, clock in here. <laughs> I don't think so. We got an earthquake question. Oh, we have an earthquake question. Do you know that story? Yep. There, about five or six years ago, we had an earthquake. It was about 5.8 hit Arcata. Ooh. It shook everything outside. Um, the gift shop, everything was falling on the floors. People were returning their tickets. They didn't want to go in. But what they didn't know is that we had 90 people inside the case. Mm -hmm. They didn't feel a thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because limestone is actually very, very strong. So they, they didn't feel anything. So would a cave be a good fallout shelter? Pretty much. Awesome. The, reason, the reasoning for um, limestone caverns and limestone mountains being the safest place to be in an earthquake is because instead of shaking and crumbling like your atypical mountain, it'll actually move as one. Especially nice. with all this crystal calcite that leaks throughout the cracks and crevices, glues it together even stronger. Mm -hmm. This is the safest place to be in any earthquake. So if there's an earthquake like tomorrow, thank God I'm working. I'll be safe. And there's no fault lines nearby, so nothing went in. Any other questions? 